You want to be let in on a little secret. Most of us are inefficient when we work with computers. Now, some of us are better than others, and some are perfect, but a lot of us, myself included, can get a little bit sloppy when it comes to working on a computer. One of the things that's really important to understand is shortcuts. Now, I know you know shortcuts. For example, Control A, which is actually Command A on a Mac, same key, different name, is like Select All. Control or Command O for Open. You know those ones, right? Well, here's a study for you that might set you on your ear. Two-year study done by university proved that if we use shortcut keys and just really get into them and use them in our programs, we can save one hour out of every eight hours in a normal workday. One hour out of every eight. That is not too bad, if you ask me. Now, the thing of it is, is understanding that there are hundreds and hundreds of shortcut keys in Premiere alone, Premiere Elements. And that means if you use Photoshop and Illustrator and all these other programs, you got 50,000 shortcut keys floating around in your head. And when they come up with Adobe Premiere Elements 12, guess what? They'll probably change some or add some, which is frustrating. Here's the thing to remember. Actually, while I'm talking, let me go somewhere. Go up to the word Edit on the pull-down menu and go down to Keyboard Customization, right here. As many keys as there are, as many shortcuts as there are, we get into like a workflow. And your workflow is going to be different than mine. And according to the study, there are about 12 to 14 shortcut keys that if you learn them are the ones that can save you that potential hour out of every eight. You say, well, it's pretty cool. And that makes it sound a little bit better. Let me show you how this works. We're in keyboard customization. We have application or the windows. I'll stay here because this is familiar territory. I'm going to open up File right here by clicking that little triangle. New Project. Well, there's the Command or Control N again, and the O and the S and all the ones that we know. And you say, oh man, Andy, you know what? I use Get Properties for File all the time. I'll bet that's one of the 14 that if it had a shortcut, I could really save time. But there is no shortcut for that one because it's blank over here. This is what you do. Click here in this area. So you can go to any one of these you want. And once you click in there, pick out a shortcut. Now I'm going to press Command Option, and that would be Control Alt on a Windows system, and the letter U. Well, it worked. All I have to do is remember that keyboard sequence, and to me that's the hardest thing. It's easy to come up with a combination. The hard thing is tomorrow when you wake up remembering what you did. Let me show you something. I'll click Clear down here. That's gone. Let me come back up to it again and select it. You say, well, I don't know. That was too much. You got three keys in there. I don't want three. I want two. So I'm going to use one that I know you know is already used. Control-C, which is copy. That's, again, Command-C on a Mac. Oops. Well, it's telling me it's being used already, but if you would like to, I'll give it to you up here. Now, that means the next time you press Command-C, you're not going to get a copy. You're going to get properties for the file. That is completely legitimate if you want to do it. Now, I probably don't want to do that, so I'm going to say clear. Let's go ahead and go back to the one we had. As long as it doesn't say anything down here, you're okay. Now, I'm going to save them. Do a save as My Shortcuts. Click Save. Click OK. Now remember what I said about making them as easy, remembering what they are is harder? You've got to fit it into your workflow. It takes time. Okay, it just simply takes time. But if I go to the word File, you will notice, well, there it is. And there's the shortcut. So let's play Devil's Advocate. I'm pretty good at that. Andy, I wish I had, like, never done this. I mean, I was playing. I was just playing. I used shortcuts that have already been used. I added some that I'll never remember, and I just want to get it back to the way it was. Well, go back up to the word Edit on the pull-down menu and go down to Keyboard Customization. Change my shortcuts back to Adobe Premiere Elements, or you could do this. You could say, I don't even want that anymore. Delete it right here. Everything goes back to the way it was. You click OK, and everything is right with the world. But don't forget shortcut keys. Don't forget how important they are to getting us more efficient. 
if I've got more time on my hands, I think I'm going to be better at what I do because I won't be so crowded out trying to beat a deadline I know I never can make. Shortcuts can help you, and keyboard customization is the place to go.